Hi there, this is Mrs. Heineman, and today we're going to talk about making observations and inferences, important skills for scientists. First off, our big question, well, what is an observation? An observation is information that can be gathered through your eyes, ears, and senses of taste, touch, and smell. Observations come in two different types. Our first type is a qualitative observation. This is a describing observation. We're going to use our senses to make this observation. And it's going to describe a quality. So maybe that is color. Maybe it's the shape of something, the texture of something, the sound of something. Here's a couple examples. First off, we have Olivia, our dog, is wearing a blue sweater. So we're describing the color of that sweater. Um, Olivia's fur is also very shiny. Another qualitative observation. The second type of observation we can make is a quantitative observation. And you may notice that that N in quantitative is highlighted in red. So these observations have to do with numbers. They're going to describe a quantity. And that may be a measurement or it may be counting something. But most often it's a measurement in science. Here's some examples. The room is 8 meters across. Sarah is 141 centimeters tall. The room has two windows, all quantitative observations. After we make our observations, we can use those to draw inferences. And an inference is going to be an explanation based upon our observation or what we already know, our prior knowledge about something. So let's talk a little bit about observation versus inference. We know that an observation can be qualitative or an observation can be quantitative. And we know that we can use our observations to make inferences, to come up with explanations about what we are observing and using our prior knowledge to help us make those explanations. Let's take a look at this picture here. We have a bunch of kids that are all together. It looks like they are dressed up in some sort of costumes and it looks like some sort of celebration. This first statement, the boy is wearing a black eye patch. This is going to be a qualitative observation. So black is describing the color of his eye patch. Second statement, it's Halloween. We're looking at this picture. We see kids dressed up. We see a celebration. That is going to be an inference. Maybe it's a Halloween party. Maybe it's a birthday party. So we're basing our explanation on our observations and our prior knowledge. There are six candles. That would be a quantitative observation. So we could actually count one, two, three, four, five, six. Quantitative, a quantity. Words you should know. Observation. Two different types. Qualitative, quantitative, and finally, inference. See you next time.